Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets. And today, we're going to be talking about untying your life's knots. As always, in the descriptive box below, there's links to various websites, including Amazon.com, where you can purchase any of the 10 best-selling books in the San Miguel de Allende series, Secrets series of books. As a child, I adored putting on marionette shows, but any time the strings got tangled, like with the puppet there to the right, I had to go to my mom and have them put right again. That, in a nutshell, is the point to the image of Mary, untire of knots. Mary, untire of knots, is the name of a Baroque painting featured to the left by Johann George Melchor Schmidtner, painted around 1700. The painting survived wars, revolution, convent living, and secular opposition still adorning a church in Bavaria, Germany. Originally commissioned by the grandson of a wealthy couple to commemorate his grandparents' marital discord and when his grandfather went to the priest for help. The priest suggested asking Mary since she, as he displayed with a white ribbon, untied our knots. The husband did and the couple stayed together. Pope Francis saw this painting while studying in Germany as a student back in the 1980s. He bought a postcard with the image and began promoting her image back home in Argentina to trust Mary to untangle your difficulties slash knots in life. The first chapel to be, Mary, to be named Mary and Tire of Knots was completed in 1989 in Austria in response to the Chernobyl nuclear tragedy. I'm partial to this version of Mary because it's quite tactile and even more so at a Yucatan jungle church. One part of the jungle features white ribbons folks knotted to trees with their concerns. Then another part of the jungle has colored ribbons proclaiming appreciation for when the knots were undone. How clever is that? Immediately, I tried to convince local churches into doing a smaller scale version of the knots where I'd commission a large painting of Mary to donate, signs explaining plus the ribbons, markers, and such so the church had no fiduciary responsibilities. I learned to not consider an updated copy of the painting to display. The more European slash Spanish the image appears, the more seriously it is taken by the faithful and likely to be used in processions. Pity, as often modern takes on our image are quite lovely like those seen here. A pal suggested the chapel in Ojo de Agua, as they have many trees in front to tie the ribbons to. However, since the ribbons aren't natural, that notion was poo-pooed by the Department of Ecology. Just getting any local priest to support your effort can prove elusive. Some may, if you sponsor or host, pun intended, other events unrelated to your veneration. Others may only be shot down at the diocesan level. Others may be your biggest cheerleader and then get moved to another parish with the replacement disinterested. This is one of the reasons why statues and churches move around, as it depends what images are vital to the current clergy. My ace in the hole is the Atoto Nilka Monastery. For years, I delivered tours and suites to the lads, so I was a known entity. Best part is, the head monk is from Argentina, where Mary and Tyre of Knotts' image is popular thanks to the Pope. I wasn't quite sweet enough, though, as my timing was off, given they had already ordered an image to place on the cloister's grounds and weren't interested in the more tactile ribbon approach. So, it's time to go to even more local, namely my home. My thinking is using the front courtyard to place the request to be knotted on the white ribbons. Then, once the problem is unknotted, a multicolored ribbon will be tied to the larger center courtyard. I've already received multiple requests online, so the Marion project is off to a good start. Feel free to message me privately with your request and I'll tie the knot for you during these stay-at-home times. No need to tell me your business, so one word or an acronym will suffice as Mary is good at languages. Once your problem is unknotted, let me know, and I'll place your appreciation ribbon. When the pandemic ends, people will come by and tie the ribbons or knots on their own. Perhaps by then, San Miguel de Allende's Mary the Knots will have found a more public venue. Fingers crossed the nuns at Mexiquita's orphanage will be open to the idea once their charges are perfectly safe and the town's more popular, most popular wedding chapel reopens. Fitting given the whole image started with a couple considering divorce. Sidebar, the original image of Mary, the, I'm sorry, the original image features a dove that flies over Mary's head 
representing the Holy Spirit. More convoluted is the image underneath their feet of a man, an angel, and walking a dog. Some assume it was the husband walking with an angel to go seek marital counseling from the priest who illustrated the Mary and Knott's allegory. Others feel it's the story of Tobias. Tobias walked with the angel Raphael in disguise to propose to his cousin Sarah. Sarah had married multiple times prior, but the husband always died on their wedding night. Raphael worked his angel magic, assuring Tobias that as Sarah's closest relative, he'd survive the wedding night consummation. Ew. In the words of Hall Notes, some things are better left unsaid. Feel free to click the subscribe button below and you'll get automatic notifications of new videos 